A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Quincy Jones, the legendary music producer, composer, and arranger, left an indelible mark on the music industry before his passing on November 3rd at the age of 91. Born in 1933, Jones began his career as a jazz trumpeter, eventually becoming a prominent figure in the music world, collaborating with icons such as Ray Charles, Leslie Gore, and Michael Jackson. His career spanned decades, during which he earned 28 Grammy Awards, sharing the record for the most Grammys won by a living artist at the time. Jones's influence on pop and R&B music is immeasurable, as he revolutionized the sonic landscape of the 1980s and beyond. One of Jones's early collaborations was with Ray Charles, whom he met as a teenager in Seattle. Their friendship blossomed, leading to Jones arranging and composing for Charles's 1957 album, The Great Ray Charles. The track, The Ray, showcased Charles's jazzy side, highlighting the deep connection between the two musical geniuses. In the early 1960s, Jones produced Little Richard's gospel album, The King of the Gospel Singers, helping the rock and roll legend transition into spiritual music. Jones's production brought out the fiery essence of Richard's earlier work, resulting in tracks like Joy 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 and There Will Be Peace in the Valley for Me. As a jazz trumpeter, Jones worked closely with Dizzy Gillespie, becoming the music director for Gillespie's band in 1956. By 1963, he was producing Gillespie's album New Wave. This collaboration marked a pivotal moment in Jones's career as he began to explore the crossover between jazz and pop music. Jones's breakthrough came when he discovered Leslie Gore, who would become a pop icon. Signing her to Mercury Records, he produced her hit single, It's My Party, which catapulted her to fame. Gore's most famous song, You Don't Own Me, became an early feminist anthem, showcasing Jones's ability to recognize and elevate powerful messages in music. Aretha Franklin, another iconic artist, collaborated with Jones on her album, Hey Now Hey, The Other Side of the Sky. Although the album received mixed reviews upon its release, its reputation has grown over the years, showcasing Jones's versatility as a producer. In the mid-1970s, Jones discovered the brothers Johnson, who would go on to achieve massive success with their hit, Strawberry Letter No. 23. Jones's guidance helped the duo navigate the changing musical landscape, blending funk with other genres. However, it was Jones's partnership with Michael Jackson that would redefine the music industry. After working with Jackson on The Wiz, Jones produced Jackson's solo album, Off the Wall, which became a template for post-disco music. The album's hits, including Don't Stop, Till You Get Enough, and Rock With You, showcased Jones's innovative production techniques and Jackson's extraordinary talent. Jones's legacy is not only defined by his awards and accolades, but also by the countless artists he mentored and influenced throughout his career. His ability to blend genres, push boundaries, and create timeless music has solidified his status as one of the greatest musical innovators of all time. As we reflect on his remarkable journey, it is clear that Quincy Jones's contributions to the music industry will continue to resonate for generations to come. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.